What are you talking about? Look at the front page. If that doesn't win you the election, nothing will. What the devil? Look, look, look at the headline. Is Port Charles police chief endorsing Duke Lavery? I can read you now. Hey, that's a real switch for Chief Devane, who opposed your redevelopment plan. Oh, damn. What's the matter? My relationship with Anna Devane has absolutely nothing to do with politics. Do you understand that? I'm not going to have this. Hi, Dad. You like some company? It's you. Who are you expecting? After a while, it's no longer a, a, a priority to find out how old Stryker is doing at the rehab center. Oh, Dad, don't be upset with Jimmy Lee. Jimmy Lee, what do you mean? You, he, he's not doing too well. He thinks he's losing the campaign. Uh, didn't his uh, debate go well with Duke Lavery? Uh, it flopped. The rally didn't go too well last week, thanks to Edward Quartermain. But I got a great idea, and I'm going to start on it today. So. I just popped in to say hi, so I gotta go on. You keep your fingers crossed. I'm gonna get every emancipated woman in Port Charles to get on Jimmy Lee's side. See, you get the women and the wives and, the, you know, anything to do with the dock workers, get them on your side and you got their votes, right? I think the only women that won't like my ideal is the old-fashioned clinging vine. I'll see you later. Hey, Jimmy, 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 Oh, it's a new angle to get you elected. I got the idea from Tessie last night. Look, I even got some of your bodybuilding friends from the spa. For Pete's sake, they're not my friends from the spa. Hey, kid, what do you think? What do you guys think you're doing? Well, first we're getting the, 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 the wives and the girlfriends of the dock workers behind you. Yeah, and we're also telling them women can be dock workers if you're voted president of the union. Ain't that a guess? Do you know what you're doing to me? What do you mean? Look. These guys don't like to admit that their wives and girlfriends can influence them. What's more, and this is human nature, you can take my word for it. They don't want anybody else to compete with, especially their wives and their girlfriends. You're killing me. You know that? You're killing me. I'm sorry. I thought it was such a good idea. You know something? Next time you get a thought, rethink it. If you help... If you want to help me get elected, read tonight's newspaper. Get me Anna Devane's endorsement. Well, hey, look at her and Duke. Oh. Are you the editor? Yeah, this is Duke Lavery calling. Yes, Duke Lavery. I'm calling about your front page story. Yeah, well, I would like you to print a retraction in this evening's late edition and also in tomorrow morning's edition. Anna Devane has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with the union election. Do you understand that? What you have printed is uncalled for and totally misleading. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. And if I don't see the retraction as I have asked for it, then you will be seeing my attorney. Well? The poor Charles police told me that Chief Devane was nowhere in her office. That's not good enough, Angel. I want you to find her, and I want you to find her now. Okay. How dare you? Sorry. How dare you use my position uh, in this it, city Angel, to, to solicit votes for your campaign? Now, you know that my... I've never changed my mind about your revitalization program for the waterfront. You know that. It's a matter of public record. Now, what, what is written on the front of that newspaper is libelous. Now, I could sue you for libel. 
I am shocked if you think I'd tell me what to, to, to do with that front page story. You allowed I, it. I didn't have a bloody thing to do with it. Oh, fine. There you go, Mr. Duke Davy. He always walks out of everything with his hands clean. Well, if you don't believe me, and I'm sorry you don't, why don't you talk to the editor of the paper? I've already talked to him. I have demanded a retraction in this evening's paper and also in tomorrow morning's paper. And he knows if I don't get a retraction, he has a libel suit in his hands. Yeah, get me the editor. Yeah, this is Duke Lavery. No, you go find him. I just spoke to him. Right. Find him. I want, and not only want a retraction, but I want my statement on the front page of the newspaper tomorrow, too. He's in group therapy right now. Look, I'm worried about him. He's okay, Miss Stryker. I mean, he's in a group therapy session right now, so it doesn't look like anything's wrong. Look, is Dr. Lincoln his doctor, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know where he is? I gotta talk to him. Well, he's conducting the therapy session right now, so you can't see him at the moment. Okay, where's the group therapy room, then? Go to the end of the corridor, turn right. You'll see a sign on the door. Thanks. Come on, Buzz, get it out. I told you I did not choose to be a loner. I know now that it was the drugs that were making me that way. I pulled away from everybody, including the woman I love. In the beginning, she didn't know what was wrong. She didn't know I was doing drugs. Well, did she change when she found out you were on drugs and numb? She, she was always trying to help people, so she tried to help me. I pretended she was helping, but I stayed with the drugs. All right, all right, just come on, let it out. She shouldn't have left me. Did she leave when she first found out you were still taking drugs? No. I cheated again, and I stayed with the drugs. And you were ashamed. It was hell. For you? Yes. For her? For her, Buzz? Come on. Yes, yes, yes! Then what? She said I needed professional treatment, and so then I came to this place. And then, and then she was gone for good. How'd you feel about that? Come on, Buzz, the truth. All right, all right, all right. I was glad. Why? Because! Come on, Buzz, get it out. Because it gave you an excuse to go back on drugs. I don't have anything to say. Dad! Don't, Dad. No, no, don't say anything. Just let me go. Dad, I Get out of my way! Dr. Stryker! Hank, Hank, get back to Dr. Stryker right now. Stay with him. Don't let him out of your sight. I need to talk to you. Your father needs my help. I've got to get to him right Doctor, now. Doctor, I think I know what the problem is, and I think I know the person who can solve it. Your father is on a major slide, and I've got to stop it. And I want my statement in the late edition of your newspaper as well as tomorrow's. And in the follow-up story, I want you to emphasize my opposition to the revitalization of the waterfront. I will continue to oppose that until such time as Port Charles can increase the police department to cope with the problems that it will cause. No! I do not privately support Mr. Duke Lavery as president of the union. I do not endorse Mr. Lavery for anything. Thank you. Oh, I don't know if I want that in the retraction or not. It's not a personal attack. It, it's an attack against your policies. Oh, Anne, I have to talk to you. I told her she could wait, happened. Duke. And I have to talk to you about my father, please. Okay. I'll step out for a minute. What's happened? He hit the skids today, Anna. He's with the doctor right now, but he's doing terrible. I ran into Jim Lee on the way over here, and he's with him now. Sorry to hear that. Anna, you are the only one that can help him now. What? I don't understand. It's about that picture of you and Duke in the paper. Oh, that, that damn picture. Just cracked up and ripped into shreds. But it wouldn't be important to him. I, he's the one that broke it off between us. I know, I know that, Anna, but, but... Look, that's when he thought that he wasn't any good to anybody. And he didn't break it off. He just released you or whatever. I... Look, I know that must have hurt you terribly, Anna. You know how these things are. Anna, I know you mean, I know how you care for my dad, and that he means the world to Robin, too. Yes, he does. Anna, 
Jimmy Lee told me about how you were with him every minute of the day at the hospital when you could get away from your job and about the promises you made for the future. You... Sandy, I think you've mixed this up in here a little bit. Anna, my dad is a good man. I know. I He'd make that. a wonderful husband and, and a Sandy, wonderful stepdad please, for, for Robin. Sandy, everything you're saying is perfectly true. But life doesn't stand still. You know, after your father broke it off, things changed. I, I love him, I do, but it's, it's different now. Anna, he needs you. You wouldn't want me to tell him something that I, I couldn't uphold. I just want you to do, give him anything that you can so that he can hold on. It's better than letting him crack up because he's always... He hasn't ever got anything in his life that he really wanted. I got some good news. Well? Well, Mr. B is really pleased that you squashed that story in today's paper. Why? Because he feels that if the police chief endorses you, you would owe the police something. Oh, I doubt that. I should think he'd be pleased to think that I had the police in my pocket. Hey, Mr. Uh, B is a real brain. What are you saying, Angel? Maybe he believed your first story. Then why should he be happy about the retraction? Because it makes you look innocent. Because you don't want to deal with women. Oh, you've lost me. I neither understand nor do I even begin to care how Mr. B reacts anymore. You better care, Duke. Mr. B wants you to owe him. I didn't demand that retraction to beat anybody's ego. It was personal business. I get paid by Mr. B to launder his money through my clubs. Okay? That is business. Now, he pays me for my brains, and he pays me for my sweat. He does not pay me for my soul. And don't you shake your head at me, Angel. Come on, Duke, you gotta be kidding. You've been bought like the rest of us. Every one of us has a price, including that lady cop. Not Anna today. No. I, I can't lie to him. I mean, he knows me too well. He'd see right through it. And I don't want you to tell my father any lies. Just take it easy. Just take it easy. What do I do, Doctor? It's still very early in Dr. Stryker's treatment. He's operating without drugs, and the dependency seems to be lessening. Mm -hmm. But he's in very bad shape emotionally. Now, we have to deal with the total truth, eventually but only when it can be handled by the patient. Now, from what all I've heard and seen, there's no question that you're fond of Dr. Stryker. Oh, yeah, I mean, sure. I, I, I love him as a friend. That may be all he needs at this point. Just choose your words carefully. That may be enough to give him his will back to lick his addiction. Okay? Yeah, okay. All right, I'm going to check in the sick way. Uh, he is now. Can I, can I use your phone? Yes. Sure. Um, it's Lucy Case probation hearing this afternoon. I just want to check the judge got my notes. All right. Uh, Dr. Weber will be right. Is he in it too? Yeah, I asked him to come out and take a look at Dr. Stryker. Rick. How's he doing? He's not. I have never seen him so bad. He's a shell. I tried everything. I got angry with him. I tried to get anger from him. There's nothing. He's just gone. Well, it isn't unusual in a new patient, which is not to say it isn't a dangerous condition. Dr. Lincoln, he happens to be a very fine man and a very fine doctor. This is his daughter. We are all concerned. We're worried. He needs emotional support. He needs it now. Now, if he doesn't get that, if we don't give him some kind of emotional lifesaver, he's gone. Rick, um, I don't know if, uh, if, I, if I'm the lifesaver. Thank 
you could be. Look, uh, in all fairness to Anna, she feels that if she goes in there and lies, Buzz will be able to tell. I don't know what to say. Well, I just hope that the truth is good enough. That's all. part of the rescue team. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm part of the rescue team. Everybody's convinced I'm losing the battle. You're the last no. resort. Nobody thinks you're losing any battle. They're very concerned about you, Buzz. Come on, turn around. I can't hold a conversation with your back. I don't have much to say. <sighs> Boy, I wanted to tear that newspaper up myself this morning when I saw it. Just a, an innocent, friendly little photograph that's been turned and distorted into a story without an ounce of truth. They have promised me a retraction in the newspaper, plus a statement from me. Please read it. It'll be in tonight's late edition or tomorrow's newspaper. He's a... He's a curious man, Duke Lavery. I like him, and uh, I don't like him. Robin adores him. I mean, he's been very kind to her. Anna, you're going to have to lie to me. I'm not lying. You, should, you cannot be replaced in my heart, or Robin's. Just listen to me. Hear me out. I hear you. I told you once that I would never leave you. Yes? Well, I won't. You left a big hole in my life, you know. I I've been running around trying to fill it. I haven't come in to see you quite as much as I would have liked. But you closed the door on me. I I at least I thought you had. This is pity. I really can't take it. It's not pity. I'm talking about need. I need you, Buzz. I think you need me. Do you love Buzz Stryker? Yes. Well, yes, in, in, a, in a sense, I do. He's become part of the fabric of my life, and Robin adores him. Oh, and combined with her other two godfathers, you know, he, he gives her life a structure that, that's terribly important. And, and what's important to Robin is, is very important to me. Then it, it wasn't wrong to tell him that, Anna. What, that I needed him? No. Well, he's a good man. He's a good, loving man. You know, he fought for his country. He was terribly wounded, not to mention tortured. He couldn't avoid becoming addicted to drugs because it was part of the treatment in the prison camp. And that's exactly what has happened at General Hospital. He, he's a victim of his circumstance. You know, one owes an awful lot to a man like that. Why did you come to me with this? I told someone today you were the most honest person I ever met. Was it a mistake? I mean, encouraging Buzz like that. You gave a man hope when he needed it. I don't let anyone ever tell you that was wrong, Anna. Well, 